We look into growing concerns for the safety of school children in Niagara Falls. This after several of you reached out to us showing the snowy situation there as students return to in-person learning today. 7 News reporter Jocelyn Person is in Niagara Falls tonight. The work slow, tedious, but necessary for the public works team here in Niagara Falls as the work wages on after Monday's historic snowfall. We've got guys that have been working 16 hour shifts, taking their mandatory eight hours off and then coming back in. Uh, once they had already started hitting the 16, it becomes very difficult then because of the manning and the DOT regulations for drivers that they can only work so much. Uh, we are down drivers in the city. John Kenny, the director of public works, tells me almost eight trucks went down and his department is working hard to get them back up and running. Mayor and the superintendent have been in contact with each other. We've also had the DOT came in twice to help us widen some of our main drags. Niagara Falls School Superintendent Mark Laurie tells me he's working with other city leaders to identify problem areas for students and staff. I am sending to the mayor are about nine or ten areas in the city that really need some attention before tomorrow morning. And uh, he's assured me that uh, once he gets our priority list, and the priority list was derived from bus stops, Lori says half a dozen teachers couldn't make it to work Wednesday, while several students were also stuck at home. He says remote learning wasn't an option. To be able to flip, flip a switch and call a remote day in a city like Niagara Falls without pre-warning is, is just about impossible and unfair to those students and staff members that don't have their equipment at home. I know it sounds cliche, but that's the only thing that we can do is you're going to have patience. Jocelyn Person, 7 News, Niagara Falls.